Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can dual boot Hackintosh and Windows 11 using the new way, which is Proxmox. Now before this video starts, I want to mention that I do have a Discord server that you can visit if you do need any help related to my channel. The join link will be in the description. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So you can see I've got Windows 11 in front of me that I'm going to just use as a gaming PC VM. Um, so it's running inside Proxmox. Uh, so let's try and run a game. So I've got um, Construction Simulator 2015. So I'm going to launch that. But this is the GT 630, so don't expect stunning frame rates. So let's click yes. Just skip that for now. So let's wait for it to uh, load. So you can see when I win the game, and you can see obviously the frame rates are amazing um, because of the GT 630. But I'll just walk you through. Um, the actual settings that we have. You see on graphics, we're in sort of medium uh, when it loads. Oh, we're actually in very high. So let's just bump that down to low for now. And just wait for them settings to apply. So we're in the low now. Um, you can see it's still not amazing, but it's just the GPU. Because if I um, do the Windows key and open up Task Manager, you can see if I go to GPU here, so full tilt. But uh, now I'll just walk you through the specs of the VM, so let me just quit the game. And then I'll tell you the specs. So let's just quit this. Yes. So the specs that we have is the i7 2600, which four, has four cores allocated to the virtual machine. Uh, eight of the eight threads because it uses threads in virtual machines. Um, and eight, we only have four gigs of RAM allocated. So that's probably why we're getting bad frame rates. Also, the GT630, which is passed through using PCIe pass-through, and it's the two gigabyte version. So now I'm going to just show you macOS Ventura. So if I power down this virtual machine, so if I click shut down, I'll just do shut down anyway. Now I'm going to boot up macOS Ventura. So I'm now booting up Ventura, uh, so it should be on here shortly. Um, this has the graphics card passed through with the patches done in Open Core Legacy Patcher. So uh, you can see when I get in a signal. And as you can see, we have the login prompt, so I'm just going to enter my password. So, we're in macOS Ventura, so I'm just going to go to about this Mac, like so. And you can see on the specs that we have the 3.4 gigahertz on now, and display is 7 megabytes and 8 gigs of RAM. But, I'll just show you how to fix the display 7 megabytes. So if we go to display settings, just close about this Mac. We want to optimize it for the monitor. And then if we open up about this Mac again, you'll be able to see that we have the GT 632 gigabytes. So I did some benchmarks, uh, which you'll see on screen right now. But I've got the same four cores and eight gigs of RAM allocated with the same GT630. So now I'm going to show you something uh, which is great. It's how to show your keyboard and mouse between the two. So let's do that. So you can see I've got Windows 11 here again. So we just want to go to showmouse.com. So I'm just using Edge because Chrome's not installed. So showmouse.com. 
www.ghostbusters.com and then you go to the download at the top and then we're going to download for Windows very quick download so it shouldn't take too long so we just want to click open file just minimize that click yes on the prompt and then just next through it all and you're done so if we go to the bottom here to the system tray you can see the tick next to it which is here right click and go to monitor manager you can see that it's already found my main pc because this is actually what i use myself but i want to put this on the right which you can't currently do because it won't let me there we go it's because the a is in the way there so I've done that on the right. So now we just need to install it on macOS. So let's do that. So on macOS, we're going to do the same thing. So all we need to do is go on to Safari or Google Chrome, whichever you like. I've just got Safari installed. I want to go on that and go to the same sharemace.com. Go to download, but well, this time just download it for macOS so it's at the license terms. Um, there's currently an A on my screen which I need to fix. Um, and then we'll get on with it. So we're going to go to accept license terms, tick them, click Mac download. We'll add the download, and then we want to double click on the DMG. Then just simply drag and drop into the applications folder. Pretty simple. Then give it a few moments, even though it does look like it's not copied, just give it a moment. And then you go to Launchpad, click on Share Mace, just minimize Safari now, click Open. Then on your menu bar, uh, first you need to enable accessibility, so just click Enable. Open the system settings. And then just wait a moment. You will get asked for the password when you tick this box. But once you've done that, click on OK. Then at the top menu bar, you'll see the same icon. Just go to Display Manager. And you can see that they're all here. So I'm going to put this on the left of my PC. Like so. So you can see I've actually got three sort of monitor setups when really I've only got two. So I'm just going to show you an example of Windows to macOS. So this is actually my main PC. So if I move my cursor, you can see that it's over here. And now I can um, do command space and type in terminal. Now just do an LS. And if I come over to Windows and do a search for Terminal and open that too. So hopefully you get that. Um, it's a brilliant piece of software that if you've uh, got a two monitor setup but want two VMs. You can always, um, you can actually run it for the exact same time. Um, so you can run, if you have two GPUs you can run Windows and Mac OS and then use Shermates to uh, go between the two. You can actually um, drag and drop folders and stuff but that is in the pro version which i know isn't really expensive but uh now you've set up your keyboard and mouse to work with both so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did uh please leave a like um, and consider subscribing thanks ever so much for watching goodbye